Welcome to section 13 of bacteria. This is our bacteria overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing Streptococcus gallolyticus, which you can see right here. This is also sometimes referred to as Streptococcus bovis. This scene will take place back during the time of Galileo. As you probably know from history, Galileo was the famous Italian scientist who was a very prodigious astronomer. So from the image, you can see that he's using a telescope to examine the stars. Galileo sounds kind of like Galileticus, so we thought a scene of Galileo would work well to help you memorize this organism. Just like in our other videos, notice that we've included a lot of purple colors to help you remember that this is a gram-positive organism. I've shown this in prior videos, but we'll briefly go through it again. This is a gram stain of streptococci. Notice that the organism stains purple, which is why it's a gram-positive organism. And also notice that the bacteria are circular or cocci-shaped, and that they form long, continuous chains. So this morphology is consistent with streptococci. Okay, continuing on, notice that we've included some flowers next to this dirty brown river. The brown river is a symbol for the colon, and the flowers next to the river represent flora. In other words, Streptococcus gallaticus is part of the normal colonic flora. Galileo came to this spot in the first place because he saw this strange green light emanating from a star. A gamma ray is a type of electromagnetic radiation that can naturally occur from terrestrial bodies, so we thought a green ray emanating from a star would be a good symbol for gamma hemolysis. So gamma ray, gamma hemolytic. This is a figure of the three types of hemolysis, which we discussed in more detail in section 7 which is our video on listeria. Again, gamma hemolysis looks like this. Notice that there is no hemolysis surrounding the colony. So remember, strep gallaticus is gamma hemolytic. Okay, let's return to the image. Notice that now we've shown the river turning slightly green. This is because as the green gamma rays reach the river, they cause the river to turn green. The green part of the river in the image is a symbol for bile. The fact that there are a bunch of flowers growing right next to the Green River should help you remember that Streptococcus gallaticus grows in bile. Don't get this idea confused with the bile solubility test. These are two totally separate ideas. The bile solubility test is discussed more in the video on the Viridans group Streptococci video and has to do with whether or not an alpha colony on blood agar dissolves in the presence of bile salts. So remember, Strep gallaticus grows well in bile. Galileo got here using his trusty horse, but unfortunately, the horse was injured during the trip as you can see by the blood that's on his leg. This bloody wound right next to the river is a symbol for bacteremia. So Strep gallaticus can cause bacteremia. Now we've shown the horse carrying this buggy or cart. We've been using cars to represent cardiac problems, but for Galileo's time, a cart seems more fitting. The cart in this scene is to help you remember that Strep gallaticus can cause endocarditis. Finally, we've shown one of Galileo's servants helping bandage up the horse. If you look closely at the bandage, you'll notice that it's actually a ribbon that resembles one of those Cancer Hope Awareness ribbons. Just so you know what I'm talking about, this is a Cancer Hope Awareness ribbon. We'll be using this to represent cancer throughout our images. Because the ribbon is being wrapped around the horse, who's right next to the Brown River, this ribbon should help you remember that Strep gallaticus is associated with colon cancer. Okay, now that we've covered the image, let's review with the question. A 33-year-old male with a history of IV drug use comes to the office due to recent changes in his fingernail. Examination of the fingernail is shown below. Physical examination is also significant for a holosystolic high-pitched murmur that is best heard near the left sternal border. Blood cultures are positive for an organism that grows well in bile, but fails to grow in the presence of 6.5% sodium chloride. Which of the following is true regarding the organism responsible for this patient's condition? A. It is catalase positive. B. It is a gram-positive rod. C. It is associated with colon cancer. D. It is associated with abdominal wound infections. Or E. It exhibits alpha hemolysis on blood agar. Hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this patient has endocarditis, which we can deduce based upon his history of IV drug use, splinter hemorrhages seen in his fingernail right here, and a cardiac murmur. Because blood cultures reveal an organism that grows well in bile, but not in the presence of 6.5% sodium chloride, we can deduce that the organism is most likely strep gallaticus. Enterococci can also cause endocarditis, and grow in bile, but they also grow well in 6.5% sodium chloride. Therefore, growth versus no growth in 6.5% sodium chloride is an important distinction between these enterococci and strep gallaticus. In our video on enterococcus, we represent growth in sodium chloride with this guy right here who's pouring salt on his popcorn. 
However, we haven't included anything in this image, so the absence of salt should have clued you into the fact that Strep Gallaticus does not grow well in the presence of 6.5% sodium chloride. Okay, with this in mind, let's return to the question. So we're asked, what is true regarding Strep Gallaticus? The correct answer is C. It is associated with colon cancer. A is false. Strep Gallaticus is catalase negative. Staph aureus is catalase positive and can cause endocarditis, but does not grow in the presence of bile. B is also false. Strep gallaticus is a gram-positive caucus, not a gram-positive rod. D is false as well. It's not typically associated with abdominal wound infections. This is true of enterococcus. Finally, E is also false. Strep gallaticus exhibits gamma hemolysis on blood agar, not alpha hemolysis. So the correct answer, again, is C. From the image, recall that this ribbon wrapped around the horse's wound that is standing next to the Brown River is here to help you remember that Strep Gallaticus is associated with colon cancer. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about Strep Gallaticus.